Hey everybody, Corey here from Parta Pro. We're here with our favorite tester, Al. We're gonna check out the new Fitness Golf for Skytrack. Yep, that's Fitness Golf. It's time to get off our butts and do some walking here. So uh, this video, we're gonna show you how to, <clears throat> excuse me, get it set up. And uh, basically we downloaded the software from Fitness Golf and we had to get our uh, unit activated to make sure that it was allowed for this Fitness Golf. So you can purchase that through Parta Pro if you like. Um, and other than that, you also have to get a foot pod and a USB sensor for the foot pod. So Al's just gonna walk out front here. I'm gonna take you over. <clears throat> and he's got the foot holder already on his shoe and now he's going to clip on this nice little sensor here that this Garmin foot pod and this is what's going to do all the work of trying to get you uh, the feedback of how well you're walking so that goes right off to a little USB uh, a little USB dongle now we've got that USB dongle attached to a <clears throat> an active extension cable and the active extension cable I've got it off 32 feet because It'll run from the computer all the way up to the treadmill. And I got the treadmill up on the second floor, so we still want to be able to uh, make Al do some work today uh, and get him some exercise. So other than that, once we've got the, uh, the foot pad plugged in, everything working there, once we start up Fitness Golf, which we've already done here, we hit SkyTrack Connect. And if you don't see it in the device, we are going to turn the unit on. And let me use the lefty here. So we're just going to flip that over. Um, we've been testing in uh, USB mode. Just find that more consistent. Once the unit is on, uh, you want to have that connected with your regular SkyTrack software just to make sure that everything's working ahead of time. Uh, we're going to hit refresh here. It's going to discover devices. <clears throat> And you can see it's both available in USB and network mode. So uh, that's just because we've had it already set up in network mode with the SkyTrack. We're going to hit connect. Now this is something you have to do every time you start up the software. So I'm hoping that uh, in the future it just automatically remembers your device. So you don't have to do this every time. So we'll, we're connected now. And you have a choice of golf just without the fitness part of it or the fitness golf, <clears throat> which you still have to walk between your shots and fitness only. So if you just want to walk on your treadmill or go on your bike, you can do that and, uh, and go through all the courses. It's pretty cool to do that. <clears throat> you have an option of save games and you can get into the different options. This software that they're using is the Red Chain software. So uh, if you've been using that before, it's all basically the same uh, courses and all that good stuff in the settings, changing screen settings and anything to do with that. So once we're connected, we've got our settings set up. Um, one just quick note in here in the game settings, we've put our ball friction slider to two. Otherwise that ball just flies off the green. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna click okay. And that's gonna save. I'm gonna go back. And let's do some fitness golf. Get Al up and running here. So we'll uh, get this going and you can pick all the courses. And I think we were in Fairmont, which had a crazy green. We'll just start off with the first course, Barron Valley. <clears throat> you go next, you can pick your hole selection. And so if you wanna clear them and just play a couple of the holes, you can do that. Um, you can uh, clear the selection, pick the front nine, the back nine, or we're just gonna select all for this purpose. And you can pick your player. And I'm gonna pick Al here. And when you do when you do change your players or you do anything with your players, <clears throat> they have a full edit feature in there, so you can pick uh, whether male or female, left or right, and that'll automatically change that on the sky track when switching. You can pick your clubs, you can change your ball, you can actually put your logo, hey, or your face on their ball if you want to. Uh, then you can actually adjust some club distances here. So for your driver, your three iron, eight iron. Um, and we can go into the next. You change your shot cameras. It's got all sorts of things. Shot cameras, for those of you who haven't seen it, is just what you see after you hit the ball. And we're just gonna click update player. And you can do that either in edit or when you create a new player, you go through all those options as well. So we're gonna put Al on the golds because we're gonna make him walk a long ways today. 
Hope you don't mind, Al. And uh, you can pick your pin placement, your scoring, the course conditions. We always turn mulligans on. Um, and for we're going to putt, but we'll change gimmies to six feet. I hit next. You can pick your weather, your wind, and your time of day. Um, one of the things I'll just say is when uh, we've played on this, we've noticed the screen got really dark. And that's because the time of day just does get darker as it gets later. So uh, just for those of you ever encounter that, uh, you're there. So it's going to load up. It loads up just the one time. And that's it for the load time for the entire course, which is great. And now with Al, he's going to take a shot, but we'll do that in part two. So for more information, you can always visit us at www.par2pro.com.